Welcome everyone. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to day 66, I think, uh, of uh, the tip of the day. Um, today, I wanted to continue what I was saying in day 64, um, I think, about Hebb's Law. Um, how do we uh, make sure that we are not firing and wiring our um, thoughts and emotions the same way that we did yesterday. So what are the methods, right? How, how to overwrite our neuron, uh, neuronal pathways. Um, it's called neuroplasticity. So um, one of the tips that Dr. Joe Dispenza gives in um, Becoming Supernatural is this meditation called Tuning Into New Potentials. So what tuning into new potentials is about is um, actually um, he gives an example of his, uh, that he's taught this to his uh, uh, children. And I think his daughter, uh, he gave an example of his daughter in breaking the habit of being yourself. He, I, I kind of remember he gave uh, the example of his son and I'll use the son and, as an example. So, uh, what we are going to do is normally what we, and this kind of leads to the tuning into new potentials actually is an intertwined uh, law of attraction, a manifestation um, kind of uh, tip as well. How do you manifest things in your life? So uh, what he says, and I'll give the example of his son, um, that his son was um, went to school in Santa Barbara and then um, he was um, like a brilliant engineer, had a job, then um, as soon as he got out of uh, college, had an excellent job, and then uh, decided that he did not want to work at that place anymore um, because it was too constricted. I'm paraphrasing here. Um, so he left and uh, he was into surfing as well. So he traveled the world. He went to Bali, he went to Australia, New Zealand, to do uh, to surf, and then um, he he calls Dr. Joe and says, uh, "I um, I'm out of money. Um, I need to find a job." So Dr. Joe says, "You know how to um, how to draw that experience from the quantum field. So figure out how are you going to uh, draw that experience from the quantum field." So during the tuning into new potentialist meditation, and if you buy the book Becoming Supernatural, you can, uh, if you don't want to buy the meditation, then you can use music and the instructions from Becoming Supernatural on how to do the meditation. But um, so what he says is um, uh, he told his uh, son to write J for a letter J for job. So you may write a letter. Um, uh, w for wealth or um, uh, A for abundance and uh, or you can do uh, R for relationship, whatever letter you want to use. So he said, uh, he said J for job. And then he said, list all the things on the left side of all the things that you want in the job. Like I want to have, um, whenever I want, I, I want time off, which is like unlimited PTO. Uh, uh, I should have freedom whenever um, you, um, uh, whenever you want, you can have the freedom to work from anywhere, um, be your own boss. So his uh, son had a long list of things that he wanted a good job in a field that he loved doing what he uh, wanted to do. And then he was paid well, and then he was his own boss. And then um, he wanted to work from anywhere because he was into surfing, I guess. So he wanted to travel. So um, he wrote all that down. And then uh, Dr. Joe's instructions are actually, what is the corresponding feeling that you need to generate within you, right? So what we are focusing on is the feeling. So if you say, I want a job that pays me well, the feeling is the relief of um, uh, having your bills taken care of, right? So you would write relief on the right-hand side. And then um, uh, if you say that you want to work from anywhere, you want, um, uh, you want that ability to work from anywhere, you would write freedom 
on the right hand side. And what kind of a person draws a job where he's the boss of um, what he wants to do? It's like you're an unlimited genius. So you would write, you're empowered. Uh, you would write all the emotions. And it's not like you would uh, work on this job. He says, it's strange. In his instructions, do not work on the specifics. You will not look at a job and say, oh, I want a job in the red building or yellow building or anything of that sort. Because what do you know? Maybe there's a bigger building and a bigger uh, position available from the quantum field, right? So what Dr. Joe's instructions are is to focus on the uh, feelings because the principle is the thought sends the signal out. So your intention or how much you intend that you want that freedom of schedule, um, the thought sends the intention out and then the emotional feel, the freedom that you're going to feel from that job is what is going to draw that experience into your present moment, right? So what he said was, so it, um, his son focused on the feelings and kept working on it, working on it. Um, did to it. Um, Dr. Joe said, you're just surfing. So you have all the time in the world. Why don't you focus on your meditation while you're surfing? So he had a lot of time, so he meditated. So he comes back uh, um, uh, in the book, Dr. Joe says he comes back and then he goes back to Santa Barbara to meet some friends to surf um, um, there. And so he goes into a surf shop, that's his son, goes into a surf shop and there he meets a guy who's looking for an engineer to build um, surfboards. I think um, like better uh, stability uh, surfboard that, that can navigate better. So he's looking for an engineer and he got exactly uh, that kind of a job that he could work on a passion that he loved. He got paid well, he got paid more than he had ever uh, been paid for. And then um, he could work from anywhere and he was the boss of his team. So. Things like that happen, that people come across your path, right? You may be at a grocery store and you'll meet a CEO. Like if you wanna be an actor, um, you're working, like Eckhart Tolle says, uh, you may be working at a, a restaurant, maybe um, a director comes to as a customer and asks you questions and then you kind of like meet them, right? So you don't know what is available in the quantum field, but what Dr. Joe says is work on your emotions. And um, my pointer here, and this is something that I do on the Facebook group, y'all may be surprised, why does she keep sharing all these testimonials? The reason why I share the testimonials is for all of you to listen very, very carefully to what the person is saying about their testimony of how they heal themselves. If you listen carefully, they will not say that, uh, oh, uh, I got this healing that, uh, or I did this meditation and that's why I, um, uh, I heal. The most important thing that they will say is they focused on being a new person. They focused on letting go of their guilt. They focused on letting go of their anger. They uh, focus on letting go of all their unforgiveness and they work towards that new self. Dr. Joe has this uh, concept of this is your old self that fired and wired those old emotions, right? Of survival, um, uh, hormones of stress. They uh, kept getting scared of everything, uh, was always um, uh, afraid to do things. This is the old you, but this new you is the empowered. Um, he always calls us geniuses, right? When we go to the work, um, the advanced retreat, he calls this is your uh, monastery and you're my geniuses. So he always addresses us as geniuses. Geniuses, are you all ready for your meditation or geniuses? So he calls us um, that you are an unlimited genius. And that's my... Um, uh, wish for all of you that all of you actually find your unlimited genius within yourself. Each of you has that potentiation, right? And in, at waveform, you have that potentiation. You just have to pull it from the quantum field. 
You have to pull that experience of your unlimited genius. If you don't feel like an unlimited genius this moment, then pull it from um, the quantum field. But you can only pull it by creating that emotion. Now look at what are the emotions that you're experiencing in the past. And as of now, I'm no longer going to experience that emotion. I'm going to, I'm going to experience these emotions, which are I'm going to experience empowered. I'm going to experience um, being um, an unlimited genius. I'm going to experience that I have freedom. And, and then uh, find little ways of, um, like, you know, if at your job, you were allowed to, uh, you needed to go to the dentist and you were able to tell your manager, oh, I, um, I need to go to the dentist. So I need a couple of hours to go to the dentist. Um, look at that freedom, right? That you were able to uh, engineer that, uh, that certain appointment. Or if you needed to run an errand, you were able to run an errand. So acknowledge how flexible your current environment is so that you kind of reiterate that feeling of freedom. I do have freedom. I have a certain amount of freedom right now, right? But now experience that freedom over and over again. Uh, look at the sky, like go out. I go out in, on, on my patio in the morning um, to actually see the sun. But then I see this open sky and that gives me that freedom. Like look at, look at a bird. I watch the birds like morning uh, time, the birds are flying towards the east. So you kind of like hear them chirping and their freedom, you know, they're, uh, they're, they're out in the air, like the way, the freedom with which they um, are flying in the air, right? So experience that dragonflies, I, I don't know the new place I'm at, they're, this is the first time I'm watch, uh, watching these uh, dragonflies. So I watched them like flying um, in the air. So freedom, they experience their freedom within you. And soon enough, you will um, actually draw that experience into your life. So uh, that's the, uh, one way of firing and wiring new um, new set of neurons. So you're not firing and wiring the guilt you're not firing and wiring the anger. You're not firing because you're excited, right? Excited for this new um, opportunity, whether it's a new relationship, whether it's a new um, manifestation of abundance. You're just excited about that. So that's my tip for today. I'll do some more uh, in the next few videos. Thank you so much for watching. So grateful, so grateful for all the support that I get from this Facebook group. Many blessings. Have a fabulous day. Much love. Bye.